Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the second week of Easter. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Pablito Tagora SVD, Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. God did not send His Son to condemn the world, but to love the world. As we continue with this uh, Eucharistic celebration, let us again approach the table of the Lord in humility knowing that we have a God who forgives us and accepts us and loves us infinitely Lord Jesus your son of God and son of Mary Lord of mercy Lord of mercy Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us your body and blood as food for eternal life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, to the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in an ending love to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up, and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area, and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. 
but the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported. We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed out outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard, the chief priests heard this report, they were at loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them. The man whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. We all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sinasabi po nila, na kahit uh, mawala ang lahat ng kopya ng mga Biblias sa balat ng lupa. At ang may iwan lang ay itong passage na ating binasa, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him may not perish, 
but will have eternal life. John 3.16 the most quoted passage in the gospel still would provide us the essence of Christianity. Ang pinakabuod ng ating pananampalataya. Ang Diyos ang unang nagmahal sa atin. Ang Diyos ang nagbigay ng kanyang kaisa-isang anak. Kung minsan, ang ating pagtingin sa Diyos ay mali sapagkat inaakala natin na ang Diyos ay parang pulis na binibilang ang ating mga kamalian o pagkakamali ang ating mga kasalanan. Kaya kung minsan, yung mga magulang, tinatakot nilang kanilang mga anak pag hindi ka pa huminto sa pag-iiyak, ibibigay kita sa pulis. Fear. Takot. Sometimes our relationship with God is based on fear. But here in the gospel today, Jesus is telling us that our relationship with God should be based on love, mercy, Compassion, forgiveness. God loves us even when we do not deserve it. We are infinitely loved. Alam niyo ito ngayong uh, panahon ng kampanya, yung mga kandidato, ang kanilang minimithi ay itataas ang kanilang mga kamay. Nililigawan nila at hinihiling ang endorsement o endorso ng mga uh, kilalang mga tao, mga artista, mga congressmen o mga senador o ang pangulo. Why? Because uh, they want to win in the election. But here in the gospel today, God is not only offering us winning an election but God is giving us and offering us eternal life for free there's nothing that is demanded from us except to live in the light to live in righteousness to follow the God of righteousness that's why the Writer and philosopher Gabriel Marcel once said, If you really love someone, you want her or him to live forever. Kaya nga kung isa may kagalit kang tao, sinasabi mo, you curse him or her, sana mamatay ka na. But if you really love someone, you want her or him to live forever. Kaya yung mga magkasintahan, they are not aware of time, no? Because if you really love someone, you do not count the days. You do not count the moments. You really want to spend all the moments, all the time with the one you really care, with the one you really love. And that is God. God gives us an everlasting love. Jeremiah said, I have loved you. God says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Ano po bang ibig sabihin ang katagang o phrase dito sa ating Ebanghelyo? He gave His only Son. He gave His only Son on the cross. He gave up His Son to death. Can you imagine? Between choosing His Son and us who are sinners, He sacrificed His Son on the cross. He chose us that we might have life, life in its fullness, not only temporal life, but eternal life. So Jesus was sacrificed by the Father 
to the most important or one of the most important elements of true, authentic, and genuine love is sacrifice. In fact, Abraham in the Old Testament was tested by God. He was tested uh, whether he was faithful and he was asked to sacrifice his son. Abraham agonized even with the thought, with the painful idea of sacrificing his only son. What kind of God you are, are you? I prayed in my old age to have a son and you have gave me one and now you want to take him. You want me to offer him. You can give without loving, but you cannot love without giving. I'm, sh I'm not sure. I think this was uh, coming from Reinhold Niebuhr. In the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 5, 21, it says, For our sake, God made His Son to be sin, who knew no sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God. In the letter of St. Peter, the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 2, verse 24, he echoed the same sentiment or idea when he said, He himself bore our sins in his body to the tree, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. So sacrifice entails pain. Sacrifice demands suffering. That's why we call it redemptive. We call it salvific. We call it life-giving. Because you're not suffering for yourself, for your sins, for the wrongdoings you have done. But you take the place of the other. Instead of the other being punished, you take his place. That's why it is life-giving. What image can we use or illustrate when someone suffers for the other in order to give life? I think uh, we can use the mother a mother who experiences difficult pregnancy. Napakahirap po yun. In order to uh, sustain the life that is growing in her womb, she has to do strict regimen in terms of diet, in terms of not uh, exerting herself too much physically, bed rest, and so on. Why does the mother sacrifice so much? Because she wants the baby in her womb to live. She would not mind sacrificing. She would not mind undergoing the pain because of or her love for the baby. It is what you call salvific love, redemptive love. It is life-giving. Alam niyo po dito sa seminaryo ay marami kaming mga mga pinapagawa, pinapaayos. Kausap ko nung isang araw yung mason at welder. At napakainit, napakahirap ang kanilang mga trabaho. At uh, tinanong ko, bakit nyo ginagawa ito? Sapagkat uh, meron kami mga pamilya, father. Meron akong limang anak. I have to do this. I have to sacrifice. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for my family, for my kids. Meron akong pinaglalaanan ang aking pagsasakripisyo ay para sa aking pamilya. That is what you call salvific love, redemptive love. If you haven't experienced pain, if you haven't experienced suffering, then maybe you haven't loved authentically, truly and sincerely. When you love without counting the cost, like God our Father, He has nothing more to count because He gave us His only Son. And that is what you call authentic, genuine, real love. And so what is our response to this offer of God's love? The Gospel tells us, 
to live in the light, to live in righteousness. Mabuhay ng matuwid. To live in the truth means mabuhay ng matuwid. Paano ang mabuhay ng matuwid? Not to be selfish, not to be self-centered, but the readiness and the willingness and the capacity to give, to sacrifice, and to make the other the center, not yourself. Sapagkat kung tayo'y nagkakasala, karamihan ang ating pagkakasala is centered on selfishness. Yung mister na nagluluko, it's because he is focusing his attention on himself. What pleasure, what joy, what contentment he derives from playing around, gallivanting with other women instead of using his earnings to support the family instead of going home immediately after work he would have no time for his family yes genuine love is giving genuine love doesn't make yourself the center of the universe at maliwanag na maliwanag ang sinabi ng ating Panginoon Heso Kristo na kung tayo'y nagbibigay, kung tayo'y nagmamahal, hindi natutulog ang Diyos. Luke 6.38, anong sabi ng Panginoon? Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full. Press down, shaken together, to make room for more, running over, and poured into your lap siksik, liglig, at umaapaw. But we can only have that if we have the capacity to give. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Sa kasalukuyang panahon, masyado nating uh, pinapansin yung, uh, pinagtutunan ng pansin yung return of it in investment. What benefit, what good can I get from that Jesus has the answer even just a cup of cold water that you give to your neighbor you will not want for your reward the amount you give will determine the amount you get back we should live in righteousness we should live in the light and that means imitating our Lord Jesus who loved without counting the cost who suffered for us who made us the center not himself when he said not my will father but your will be done he gave up everything. The Father gave up everything. The Son gave up everything. And that's why we have the resurrection. Today, in this Holy Mass, we pray that we might be able to love and give sincerely, authentically, just like the God who gave us His only Son. Please all rise. <clears throat> With confidence, we bring our cares and concerns before God the Father who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. As we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always be a living sign of God's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> 
that we may live in such a manner that the love of God may shine forth in all our actions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the love of God may bring peace into our hearts and harmony in our lives. Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That through the care and attention shown by their family or friends, the sick and those who suffer may realize that they are loved by God. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our frontline healthcare workers, volunteers, and other essential workers, that God may cover them with His mantle of protection, sustain them, and give them strength as they perform their respective duties, and may they have enough medical provisions to use for everyone who needs cure. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may all share in the glory of the resurrection. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way Mr. Henry Steve Olonan, who celebrates his birthday today, that God may continually bless him with long life and good health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, look with love on all your children and guide us safely in our pilgrim journey. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray that these, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through Him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for His death is our ransom from death, and His rising to the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together, the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
Make holy these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Honest to our bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters, relatives and friends who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, especially Arnold Johnson, Joseph Rinadimets, Pedro Calonso, and Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. pray the Our Father, let us remember all those who have recommended themselves to us for our prayers, especially those who are joining us online, those who are sick or afflicted with all kinds of physical ailments and illnesses. Let us pray for God's healing as we pray.
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Saint Arnold Jensen, Saint Joseph Pinati. 